Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Government Action Plan Committee held the third meeting at the Council of Representatives yesterday. Speaker Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal chaired the session, which was attended by head of the government's delegation, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the second Deputy Speaker and Committee Chairman, Member of Parliament Ali Ahmed Zayed. Ministers and lawmakers also attended the session, which focused on the pillars underpinning the 2019-2022 roadmap. The Speaker welcomed the government's delegation, chairman and members, expressing the hope that the GAP discussion would be marked by the spirit of democracy. For his part, the Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the government's keenness to preserve the citizens' gains and to create all the factors that provide the sustainability of the services provided to them according to the highest standards. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh received yesterday the President of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, Gabriela Baron. al Saleh stressed the important role played by the Legislative Authority in Bahrain, expressing his support to strengthen parliamentary relations with the IPU. He also highlighted his interest in the issues discussed by the IPU, praising Baron's visit, where she met the officials of the Legislative Authority and was briefly discussed on the security, stability, prosperity and development of the Kingdom. I am very happy to be in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I've been working with the Bahraini delegation at the Interparliamentary Union for many years. Uh, I can be very clear that I know how they work, how committed, uh, how responsible they are. But also I am very happy to be here and see how democracy is reaching a very important progress and very important results. And now we can see even those results in terms of gender. Uh, women's access to uh, politics is very important because that's the way that we can have uh, certain issues addressed at the parliaments in terms of education, health, uh, children, women. So that's, that's important and I'm really happy to see how Bahrain is sending this powerful message to the Bahraini po uh, people to the region and, of course, to all the world. The Thai Embassy organized its annual football tournament for the Thai community in Bahrain in a Tihad club gathering the Thai families and Bahraini friends. More details on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Thailand and Bahrain enjoy a wonderful relationship on so many levels. One of them is the friendship between the two peoples. Today, the Thai embassy organized its annual football tournament, aiming to promote friendship and unity among the Thais in Bahrain along with their Bahraini brothers. We have excellent relationship, like, you know, at all level, I would say, since like His Majesty and then uh, His uh, Highness Prime Minister, you know, he's very kind. He likes Thailand very much. Everyone know he loves us, and um, so and Thai people who live here love living in Bahrain too because Bahraini people are very kind, very generous, and um, you know, so far I think people love love. You know, there's nothing to to say about more than loving this country. Today, families and students were there to participate in the game or even cheer for the players along with their Bahraini friends. There were even mixed Bahraini Thai families, which truly reflect the kind of bond the two people share. To pass for, for, for me, this is new generation here. So, in for 12 years in Bahrain, Bahrain is a nice country. And we have a good relationship between Thai and Bahrain also. And I like the Bahrain people. A really good respect to the other nationality. So for me, for, for past 12 years, all this, um, everything is so happy for from, from my life here. I am half Bahraini and half Thai. Okay, we have a different cultures. Okay, and we have a great friendship. We have the freedom in Bahrain. We love Bahrain to, to, to stay here. And most Thai people, they stay in Bahrain. They send, 15 year, 20 year, and 30 year. Bahrain is very perfect for me because I'm living here with my family. I have a Bahraini husband, and I feel very sad because every everybody in Bahrain so kind and they they're willing to help for for Thai people. When they heard about Thai people, they say, "Oh, I love Thai. I would like to visit Thai." So I feel um, I feel very happy when I heard about that words. So I. 
Inshallah, I will stay here as long as I can in Bahrain. Most of the Thai community has been living in Bahrain for 20 years or even more. They truly feel that Bahrain is their second home. Such events reflect the culture of coexistence and freedom Bahrain provides to expat communities and its unique social fabric. From the annual football tournament, the Thai embassy organizers, I can say that the strong relationship between Bahrain and Thailand is not only on the diplomatic level, but also between people. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.